Hey guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. Just looking at Cardano, um, did some interesting things. So um, if you've been following me, you know that I sold um, up here at the height. Um, and I was looking for um, a second entry to get back in. I missed it. Um, it appears last night. Well, yesterday on this daily candle, we did get a wick down um, to the seventy-six one one dollar and seventy-six cent region. If we look, we see that uh, this was market structure. Um, all right. Okay, this was resistance. Okay, we broke this resistance. Nasdaq support. So price came back down to the support area for a retest. So that played out very well. Coming down to that zone. And remember, our support and resistance levels needs to be a zone and not an absolute. Although, like this would appear as an absolute, but in reality, it's really a zone. You want to think of like a, a region, all right? It's more like that, okay? That's how we really want to uh, find a, what do they call the supply and demand zones on the chart, all right? So yes, price did at the absolute turn at that part of the price discovery, um, but we consider this as a region. Um, just like right here, all right. So that's good. All right. Um, we still have upside targets that are still intact, which is up here. Okay. Uh, we're looking for three dollars and twelve fifteen cent Cardano uh, upper band. Maybe a four dollar or three dollars and ninety eight cent uh, zone. So this is pretty good. All right. So we got to monitor this region. All right. We need to see how price is going to react. I do feel that we're going to stay within. We may do a little sideways before heading up. Okay. All right, but we also have other alternatives. So let's do this. Let's remove this. All right. We rule space. Okay, we could do something like this and eventually break. Boom. Okay, that could happen. So we don't really try to anticipate whether or not it's going to happen or not. Instead, what we do is we just let it play out and do what it's going to do. All right. Um, if I was looking to buy, I would have bought a little bit more here. All right. Now, I'm not looking to add to my position on Cardano at the moment. <clears throat> I've got a substantial amount in the earlier day, on the earlier years, in the earlier part of the cycle. Um, so I wouldn't be looking to add. Now, I will add if we do start getting, uh, if price do come back into the dollar fifty, fifty ish range, I could possibly look to say, you know, hey, I may add a few. Uh, more to the table, but I want to take the profits out and roll some of the profits into something else. Right. Let's see. All right, so if we do get a 61% um, pullback, we're looking at a dollar fifty, like I said, dollar fifty area where price possibly can come back to. So we want to look at this area. Okay. All right. So this is a key area that we want to look at and see if price can come back here. And this would be a loading zone. 
So I would probably consider maybe adding a few back at this area, but like I said, not, not, um, I won't be doing a heavy dosage. Okay. So, you know, with Cardano, we do get staking rewards. So staking rewards are pretty good. So um, that's one of the reasons why I'm not inclined to want to, you know, try to add as much as possible at these prices. Um, all right. I can earn enough staking rewards over time that it makes sense uh, without me having to uh, deploy new capital. All right. So that's just a little soft little analysis on um, Cardano. We still got the upside targets that are ready. Um, if you're new, uh, you do have opportunities for buy-in. Um, I don't know if you saw this drop yesterday or whatnot, but that was an opportunity. Uh, came back to key levels of support. Let's throw some bulge bands on here. See where at. Um, okay, we're inside. We were out of the water. All right, we have not come back to retest uh, our median. Okay, so we still could expect price to still come down to this area uh, to to test this before we continue high. So uh, that's a good thing. So you may have some um, opportunities to get in. If you're going to trade on a derivative market, it's going to be a great opportunity uh, to take advantage of this trade as well, too. Possible short opportunity to the downside to get into this region. All right, let's check out the uh, just the regular moving averages. All right, so we on a daily, we're still in a bullish trend. However, remember, price likes to come back and it likes to kiss the, uh, the, the 50 and the 20. All right. So our yellow is the 50 and our red is the, I'm sorry, our yellow is the 20 and I think the red, yellow is the 20 and the red is the 50. Well, let me, let me make sure. Okay, I'm sorry. The red is the 20, right here, 20. The yellow is the 50 and then the 200 is the green line, okay? So when price is above all three, that shows um, bullish momentum. But if you see how price likes to hug and tug, all right, whenever your price is away from all of the moving averages, you have to be a little bit concerned that you're going to have some form of a pullback, all right? So this is concerning, but in a good way, just meaning that, hey, this is not sustainable. Maybe price needs to come back down and it's going to try to touch. All right. So this is our 20. Price can come back to touch 20 or can go ahead and touch that 50. In some cases, extreme cases, it can touch the 200. Right here, you see how price was away. Let's see if we can do a bar replay on this so we can see what was happening. Okay, perfect. This is perfect. Perfect. All right. So imagine if we're back in time. Okay, and we're back in time. We see this. Okay, what are you thinking? Well, I just told you when you're away from the moving averages, when price is away from the 20, 50, and the 200, we are concerned price wants to try to come back down. Okay, if we play, boom, look what happened. It just spiked down, but it hit off the 200. All right. It likes to touch and be around these moving areas. But look what happened. We, we told you to what? To be concerned. So if you were back here, you, you wouldn't be looking for buying opportunities because you feel like price is too far away from the moving areas. And we got a drop right there, a little nice, massive drop down. Okay. So where we at now? Away. See if we can get a drop. Now I don't expect to come down here, but guys, it can. It's the markets do whatever. If Cardano do come back down to the 74, 75 cent, yeah, you best believe I would go very, very heavy at that point. All right. So that's it. I want to keep y'all long. I'll be pumping out more videos like this. Um, I have, hope y'all have a wonderful day. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, stay in tune, follow your investment plans, trading plans, and I look to pump out the trading plan later today.
All right, guys. Keep it up.